there is only one reason that we are all here tonight, and that is to honour one of the most important people in the ballroom industry. In a moment you're going to see a really nice video where a lot of really cool people tell you stuff about Dennis. I have actually seen that video, and there's a couple of little things that I want to actually ask him here tonight that don't really appear in the video. So, Dennis, Mr. Rogers, sorry, can you please come on the stage with me? Thank you. But, while you're up, can you 
get your loving wife to bring her on the dance floor? These guys need no introduction, you've heard them, they're absolutely fantastic. At this point, I am going to introduce my goddaughter. All the way from sunny Banbridge in County Down in Northern Ireland. I believe she's going to give us a little song. Let's see it. Here we go. in our business. We have many people that have achieved great things in our business, but it, I, I think it still comes down to that 
you know, you can rely, you can trust, and you can respect that that person. You can look up to them, and, and a good, good human being. And that's what Dennis is. He's an amazing person. Dennis loves the dance industry. Um, he's been in it since a child, from when he was tap dancing. I had an identical twin. Uh, we started tap dancing at four years old. When he talks about his brother, um, you know, he has that, he has the, you know, the look of, like he just spoke to him the other day, and there's a, there's a, there's a, you can see the sadness, but the happiness, you know. We stayed with TAP for 12 years, so we were, up till 16 years old, we were doing TAP. I, I, I don't go a day without thoughts and, and memories of them, so we grew up together. Uh, we even shared a house together when we both first got married. Uh, he and his wife, my wife and myself, uh, rented a house where we had our own separate rooms, but we lived together. Uh, there wasn't a day in my life that I didn't talk to him, either by phone or somehow. Really, they used to get into tons of trouble together. They used to uh, go into each other's classes in college. They would trade off each other's classes and pass each other off as each other. They used to go out on each other's dates sometimes. We were so identical, people couldn't tell us apart. You know, I thought about all of that when I heard these stories, and I, the thought of it petrifies me. And even the thought that it would be even remotely possible that I would ever have twins, I think I'd have a heck of a time mothering them too, because you couldn't keep them straight. So I, that whole thing scares me. I was taking my younger brother to uh, tap lessons and voice lessons, in a school in Patterson. So while I was there one night, a woman asked me, uh, do you know anybody that teaches ballroom dancing? So I said, well, why do you ask? And she said, well, I've got uh, six couples and they're paying $6 a piece for uh, a lesson and I would split that with a teacher. So a little quick mathematics says to me, that's $18. That's 24 hours of work at 75 cents an hour. And I said, well, well, I teach ballroom dancing. All these years I've known him, I never, I have just associated him with the dance business. And then all of a sudden I find out he's this great mathematician and he worked at a nuclear facility and, and he was brilliant in college and all, it was like, excuse me? <laughs> I, had, I had no idea, I had no idea. And he told me this stuff. I started out by going to Seton Hall University. And uh, the only reason I went there is because I won a scholarship for math. The following September, I went to uh, Montclair State and uh, I decided I didn't want to major in math, so I would major in science. I stayed two years and then I dropped out and I got a job in industry, uh, got working for a nuclear reactor. When I went back, I ended up with a ton of science courses, and the physics and the uh, electricity and magnetism, and uh, I had to do quantitative analysis and qualitative analysis. So by the time I got to graduate, I had enough credits to do either a major in chemistry, physics, or biology, and a minor in either math or any of the other three. Dennis will learn forever. He's a curious person. He needs an answer for every question. So if he's not getting the answer, he will look for and find it. So that's why Dennis has so much experience. You can ask him any question and he's got an answer, a clear answer. I know that when I walk into a competition and I see Dennis and Jackie as, as the chairman that are going to be there, I know everything's going to be okay. And they've helped me continue to ascend through that learning process to become chairman as well. So that, you know, their, their willingness to teach and, and help anyone who asks, they're, they're just more than forthcoming with all of them. 
They're aware of everything. Uh, aware of uh, timing, aware of, uh, of the competition, the scheduling. I mean, for me to put my comp in their hands, that's what you do. You know, you gotta really feel that they're, they're the ones to do it. And I never had any doubt they're the best. Uh, you know, Dennis is, uh, is so well versed in just about every aspect of our industry. Uh, whether it's the teaching side, uh, running a studio, uh, being the chairman of judges. I mean, he, he's touched every gamut. He is uh, one of the leading historians of uh, our modern day uh, dance industry. I mean, he goes all the way back. When he started to teach ballroom dancing, um, he just really loved the industry and, and has worked to, to make it the best that he can. If I was to emulate Dennis, it would be his love and support for the business. Um, admiration from everybody. I don't know anybody who's got a bad word about Dennis. If I could become that person, God, I'd love to be. But I'll never be half the man he is. You, couldn't, you can always count on Dennis. He's an ultra professional. And you can see that when he's the chairman of so many events, along with Jackie, as oftentimes their co-chairman. But, they, but they're also, uh, both he and Jackie, they're very caring people. It's not like if you're a judge and they're the chairman, it's not like they're demanding that you do this and you do that. They just request and, but they're so professional themselves and, and I admire that a great deal. He has a very um, strong sense of balance and fairness. And what I like about him, like there might be a rule that has come into play and it could be a child's costume, a hairstyle, uh, the, girl, the little girl has to wear socks. And, but he understands that they implemented the rule at a certain time, but he's always, if there's someone that's breaking a rule, he does it with kindness and respect and a warning. And the problem has always been solved. So I've seen so many um, rules that have been implemented by the National Dance Council, and he has guided those rules, and I've seen them now taking place at every competition where, every, where everyone is respecting the rules now, but it's the way he um, connected to the competitors about these rules and now they're in place and everybody follows the rules. Essentially his manner is, is someone who is quite humble in his approach to anyone, whether you've broken the rules or you, you just want to, you just want to talk to this small, very quiet man who's always appropriate, who's always does the right thing, who always presents himself with great humility. You know, some of us feel very entitled from years of our, our celebrity, okay? Uh, I, I very much have been someone like that in my youth. Um, you know, to deal with a diva every day and then a series of them. <laughs> It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. And somehow, uh, someone like Dennis manages to play, put you in your place very quietly without making you feel that you're a dumbass, okay? I mean, that's basically what he does. He just quietly looks at you and says, I don't think that this is appropriate. Well, I know that there, there have been more than a few occasions where he's just pulled an entire group of competitors into the on-deck area and basically invigilated the entire group because they were doing what we can consider dangerous movements. That's the one uh, thing that is, uh, it's, it's hard because the couples want to be competitive and they want to be able to do you know, their maximum, but sometimes their maximum when you've got 11 other couples on the floor with you, with everybody doing maximums, could be somewhat of a battlefield. So um, we've been trying to control that, and I know that he's been really instrumental in it. Like I said, he has called an entire group of competitors into on deck area and said, you've got to stop throwing each other around. He's very much for other people and their success in this business, 
or just in life itself and he truly loves to be around people that he knows loves him and a lot most people do absolutely I would say a lot of people do probably more than he even realizes because people say you know that guy Dennis he's a special man Dennis is very serious when he is judging or scrutinizing and seeing or invigilating. He's a true professional. However, he does have a fun side to him. He's great to work with on a podium during a competition. He loves to tell jokes. He loves to listen to jokes. And one of the things that I do love about him is when he chuckles, his shoulders shake. So we were at the New York Giants football game. And we're tailgating and we get in there at like 9 in the morning and we're drinking and we're drinking. And you know, I'm, I, uh, I'm, I can drink with the best of them. But Dennis, he's got an uncanny skill of uh, not getting drunk. So feeling a little tipsy, going into the game, I said, okay, when we get into the game, I'm just going to drink some water and, uh, you know, chill out a little bit. So he brings a bottle of uh, Pony Spring water, which was actually filled with vodka. Absolute vodka. He filled the bottle of water all, all the way up, walks in with it. I said, how are you going to walk in with that? It's like, they're not going to check a, you know, an, an old man's water bottle. Like, so he walks in with the vodka. Couldn't believe it. And then now, now he's a hold the vodka. I'm like, oh, I don't want to drink any. He gets a couple of beers. We, we go sit down. He's like, drink half the beer. Oh, I just wanted to drink water. Drink half the beer. He takes the, the bottle of water, which was absolute vodka. Phil puts it in the beer, so now we're having half beer and half vodka. I crawled, I basically crawled out of the stadium. And he, he's looking at me like, what's wrong with you? I mean, the man's a legend. He can, he can drink vodka like I've never seen before. Even when people say to him, you know, why don't you retire? And he, he always says, why would I retire? I love what I do. I love my work. I love the people I work with. And I love our industry. Why would I retire? It's, it's something that I enjoy doing. And, and he truly believes that and, and does live that. I think back every once in a while, I think, yeah, I could have gone to medical school, but you know, I'm, I'm really happy with what I've done and I'm really happy with where I am. You, you think about it and you say, yeah, that, I could have regrets for that, but no, I, I don't have regrets for it because uh, my choice has been very fulfilling and uh, I've enjoyed it. Dennis, I would like to extend my sincerest congratulations for this tremendously well-deserved award. I can't think of anybody that deserves it more than you. Congratulations, my friend. Dennis, congratulations. Most deserving uh, recipient uh, for this uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, we always say Lifetime Achievements. Um, means that you're nearing the end of your life. You've still got a hell of a long way to go and you're the best person that people can look up to. Very, very well deserved. I love you. Dennis, congratulations on receiving the Lifetime Achievement Award from the DBDC. No one is more deserving than you in receiving this great honor. Congratulations. Dennis, tonight is your night for the dance industry to celebrate your life and your efforts that you have given to our industry. Our industry is very blessed and, and thankful for your service that you have given everyone. Dennis, I love you. I'm so thankful that you're in our lives and success. So Dennis, congratulations. You deserve so much and I love you. Well, Dennis, I'd like to congratulate you on this prestigious award. I believe it's long overdue, and I believe you deserve every award there is in life, and I hope you live forever, my friend. Thank you. Congratulations. Well, Dennis, or as I like to call you, Big D, 
Congratulations so much on the DBDC Lifetime Achievement Award. Well deserved, my friend. Love you. Dennis, I congratulate you on this great honor. You well deserve. And on behalf of the Dennis Believes in DDO and Chris organization, uh, the DBDC, I wish you all the very best, my mate. Have a great night. I'm sorry I can't be there. You know, from the bottom of my heart, I love you. I just want to congratulate you, Dad. You're so deserving of this award, the DBD and C Lifetime Achievement Award. I love you. Well, Dennis, I want to say a sincere congratulations to you on this great honor. And I can't think of anybody more deserving than you. Congratulations, Dennis, for a lifetime of great success and value to the dance profession in the United States and the world. To be honored by your peers, I think this is a great thing that, that they're doing for you. Uh, you. Like I said, it's about time and you should have been honored many, 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 many times years before. And congratulations. Love you. So, Dennis, I cannot imagine that it took this long to get this award because if there's anyone that deserves it more, it is you. All of us should be thanking you for always keeping us, always keeping us appropriate, always keeping us trying to be fair, always trying to keep us in line with the rules, because the rules are very important. But more than anything, I would personally like to thank you for actually being responsible for the fact that we have a United States Dance Sport Championship, of which I have many times been the American style champion or theatrical style champion. Uh, I wonder what my life would have been if we didn't have that championship. And I think it's all because of you. So thank you. We should all thank you and congratulations. Aloha from Hawaii, dear friend. Congratulations on receiving this truly well-deserved, prestigious award. Over the years, you have contributed so much to the ballroom industry, as well as to the United States Imperial Society and the National Dance Council of America. Dennis, you have become everything I thought you could be. Paul my kaid anna. Mahalo. Aloha. Nui loa. Dennis, we started over 40 years ago, I think. Um, it was a, at least that long in the dance business, and we're still in the dance business, and we both love every minute of it. Um, I am so happy that I have spent most of my life with you. I could not have picked a better partner, husband, friend, supporter, and just have totally enjoyed being with you. And we are together a lot, and it means so much to me and I think it's very special and shows how much we love each other that we can spend 24 hours a day with each other and never get tired of being together. Um, I love you forever and I don't want to cry but I'm so happy for you at this point and I'm happy that we've been together for all these years and I love you. Yeah, great. Just send me a check. And we'll be glad to do that. Um, so
so honored to be here tonight to honor a legend, and if I may candidly say, the most underappreciated legend in our business. Here, here. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I'll keep it short. Um, Jen's been an inspiration to a lot of people in this country, probably all over the world, but to me personally as well. And uh, you've been like a father figure all the way. And and I'd like to announce as a result of a paternity test. <laughs> and I got the results today, you are actually my father. <laughs> and Diana, you now have an older brother. So this is awesome. What a great night. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce Dennis Rodgers, who's presenting the Nikki Award, one time Nikki Award. Thank you. 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 just for doing something you love to do. That's why I'm here, that's what I do it for. And uh, <clears throat> just to think that it's being appreciated is very humbling. Thank you all so very, very much. <laughs> 